Hi, I'm Jeff Nichols. I'm the drawing and painting instructor here at Buchanan High School. Every year I manage to get quite a number of talented students and a lot of really polite, enthusiastic young people in my classes. This year is proving to be no exception. I teach five levels of drawing and painting in, in this uh, year and ev well, virtually every year. Uh, my first class, entry class, is Art One. I get students in that class who want to pursue art as a career or a college major. I get some students in that class because they just like art. And I get some students in the class because that's the class that they got stuck in. I try to reach each of those kids and, and tailor my classes to fit the needs of all those students. Art One is an introductory course where I teach techniques and they learn primarily how to draw using different materials. Uh, we start the first half of the year is with demos on how to do things such as perspective drawing, shading, and that type of thing. And we demo each new material so that they're comfortable. And then the second half of the year or last two thirds of the year is uh, designed around doing projects that utilize those skills that they've learned. Art two is a step up. Those students are returning students who have gone through art one. So usually they're a little bit more focused and, and intent upon uh, pursuing art, it, certainly through high, high school, sometimes uh, beyond. Uh, in that particular class, it still is a focus on drawing, but we do very labor intensive, very long duration projects. We will do a Chuck Close style portrait. Uh, that takes months. We do a colored stippling um, project, also takes months. I think even though it's a second level class that that's probably in some ways the most the, the most intricate projects are done in that particular course and some of my favorite projects are done in that class. In art three, we branch into painting. We're focusing mostly on watercolor painting. We'll start out with monochromatic watercolor uh, paintings, landscapes, portraits, then we'll add color and go into landscapes and portraits in color. Uh, it is possible we may explore some different painting mediums. Uh, we shall see, but the focus will be on, on watercolors. The next level is Advanced 2D, and Advanced 2D is actually Art 4, but we call it Advanced 2D. Um, Art 4 is where the student has a little bit more autonomy to pick their direction. Uh, I will uh, have a meeting with each student and I will ask them uh, what their interests are in terms of subject matter and what their interests are in terms of materials. And then uh, based on that dialogue, we pick a direction and that student then is responsible for pursuing that direction. Now they do have some flexibility to change direction, but I, I like to see uh, an agreed upon direction. Uh, the pinnacle class or the 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 highest class is AP Studio Art. That one uh, is very specific because uh, the AP College Board dictates what the requirements are for that one. And the requirements are a sustained investigation for 15 pieces. And then you have a quality section where you submit five pieces that showcase your particular uh, artistic abilities. The sustained investigation, this is, I think about the third year, this is a different direction from what it used to be, and they are encouraging students to have a specific concept and to work through problem solving. So it's not as oriented as it used to be towards a finished product, but it's about the journey, which is actually more in line with what a really good college course would be. Um, I'm available for contact. Uh, if you have any questions, please email me at jeffnicholscusd.com. I will respond back to you. If it's something that warrants further conversation uh, and you're comfortable, uh, leave me your phone number and I can call you, uh, you know, before school, after school, that type of thing and can discuss. If you happen, if you know you're going to be out for a prolonged period of time this year, uh, please email me. I will work with you. Uh, 
if it's something that is difficult to do, because a lot of this is instruction that I do in class and it really benefits uh, from having the student present, I understand the circumstances this year and I will absolutely work with you. You know, if you're making the effort, I'll, I will be flexible. Looking forward to this year. Have a great year.